Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. We are today going to be looking at something very different indeed, and this is something that was requested quite a long time ago. Uh, <clears throat> it's a piece of music that's actually... Well, it's, it's in this, it's in the Scottish hymn book, the Scottish Psalter and Church Hymnary, as it's called. Um, and the piece, of, the piece of music does have its history in the um, Scottish church. However, you will also find it in other places. It's one of the most famous and regularly used pieces of Masonic music. Um, it's a piece of music that is used and sung regularly in Masonic lodges around the world, apparently. And it's quite often sung at initiation rites. Now, we're not going to talk about things like that. That's a subject for definitely for other um, channels and for other places. But um, nonetheless, Masonic music is definitely an important part of music history, especially in this part of the world. And um, whatever one has to say about the... Um, the institution of Freemasonry itself, um, there is rather a lot of magnificent music attached to the world of Freemasonry. And um, like I say, this piece of music is also found in the church hymnary. So it's, you know, it's publicly available. It's not some great mystical secret. Um, it's a great piece of music. Um, the text, the words, the lyrics, whatever you want to call them, were written by... Um, who were they written by? The words, the text, the lyrics, whatever you want to call them, they were written by a Scottish minister called Norman MacLeod, who lived from 1812 to 1872. Um, I can't tell you exactly when they were written. Um, and the melody, more importantly, the melody was written by Arthur Sullivan. Now, there are various different melodies you can uh, sing to this tune, but the one used by the Masons is the one by Arthur Sullivan and it's a rather marvellous sort of march-like melody and <clears throat> if I read you the words of the first verse you will understand why it's a kind of march. The title of the hymn is Courage Brother Do Not Stumble Though thy path be dark as night there's a star to guide the humble trust in God and do the right let the road be rough and dreary, and its end far out of sight. Foot it bravely, strong or weary, trust in God and do the right. And those words, um, in these days and ages, with all the disgraceful things that are going on in the world, are even more important than in those days. So... Ladies and gentlemen, or should I say brothers and sisters, um, courage, brother, do not stumble. Now, rather than just play the hymn as one piece of music, I'm going to improvise around on it and turn it into a sort of a, well, a larger piece of music. And for this, I'm using the magnificent French organ in Nancy Cathedral, which was sampled for Hauptwerk here by Piotr Grabowski about a year ago. And it makes a rather marvellous sound. I think you will agree. Courage, brother, do not stumble. <laughs> 